resealing a leaky window and fixing delamination. Hi, I'm Andy with Compo Set Products, delamrepair.com. Welcome to our video. Today's project is removal of a window, repair of delamination, and reinstalling and sealing the window. We found a fairly large gap under this corner and no caulking on the outside. But there was silicone around the rest of the window, so we began the project by cutting away any residual material and sealant that we found, and then by loosening under the window with a rigid putty knife. We loosened the screws on the window retaining ring by hand and then used a power driver to remove all the fasteners. After breaking the ring free, we pulled it away from the window while a helper held the window from the outside. With some gentle coaxing, the window broke free from the opening and was removed. We then performed the tedious task of cleaning all the gunk off the outside of the siding in preparation of reinstalling the window. It has to be very clean. It takes mechanical scraping, a solvent wash, as well as soap and water and some elbow grease to get everything clean. The delamination is quite evident. Not a huge problem, but there is delamination and water damage that has to be fixed before the window goes back in. We can see it on the outside plywood as well as the paneling on the inside of the wall. Our number 12 RV delamination repair kit is ideal for this size repair. The kit is really a system and inside the box, you'll find details instructions that line up with our video technical tips. It comes with two different size tubing, a large and a small diameter, four 60cc dispense syringes, scrapers, putty knives, mixing sticks, as well as two mix cups that are calibrated to the mix ratio in various amounts, depending on what you're going to need for each job. There's chemical resistant nitro gloves and a set of composite shims. The most important part of the kit and critical to the delamination repair process is the Composet SLV composite bonding resin. The resin system matched with the syringes, the tubing, the mix cups, the instructions, and the technical support are what makes delamination repair possible in this do-it-yourself kit. We started by marking out the delamination with tape and then measuring the area to be repaired so we could calculate the volume of resin needed. Then we took the component A and added it to the mix cup to the volume that we need to do this repair, filling the cup to the, with the A amount as required and then adding the B component up to the noted line on the cup. Here we're going to make 200 cc's of mixed product. Following the instructions, we mixed the resin and prepared the syringes and then began the injection process. We timed this process because there is a work life of about 45 minutes at room temperature, and so you really want to know how long you're going at it. Here we can see the shims that have been holding the delamination open, allowing any moisture to escape. Now we remove the shims and use them as a tool to help us fill the void with the Composet SLV resin. This takes a while and requires continuous working the surfaces. Various techniques, you can use rollers, you can use your hand, depends on the size and the shape of the delamination, but this process continues until you're satisfied that you have coated all the surfaces and filled all the voids with the Composet SLV.
we had built our clamping system in advance and done a couple of trial runs so we knew exactly what to do after we finished the injection process. Tighten the clamps enough so that it compresses the materials together but without forcing out too much of the Composet SLV resin. It takes 24 hours at room temperature to reach substantial cure. Colder temperatures are slower, warmer temperatures cure faster. Afterwards, strip off the tape and the plastic. Everything is solid and tight. The delamination is repaired. It's important to understand why the window leaked in the first place. Here, a quick examination shows a failed gasket at the corner where we found the delamination. Start by cleaning up the window frame, removing any old gasketing, butyl tape, caulking, etc. Measure the window opening and compare it to the window frame dimensions and be prepared to make some adjustments on how the window fits in the opening. Temporarily install the window into the opening and use shims to get it correctly centered in the rough framing. When the window is temporarily installed, we apply tape to the coach wall as well as the window frame to act as a guide during installation. Typical sealing methods are butyl tape or a rubber gasket. However, we're going to use a one-part urethane sealant which will perform a formed-in-place gasketing process. While this is not a traditional method, we find it is a superior process if done correctly in both bonding the window into place and allowing the gasket to conform to variations in the surface. We installed our shims that would center the window in the opening and with the, with the uh, urethane adhesive applied to the window frame, we gently set the window into place. A helper installed the retaining ring on the inside, starting the screws by hand, followed by a, a clutched power driver. On the outside, we added some additional urethane to make sure that we had all the gaps filled before we fully tightened the clamping ring. Before the urethane dried, we carefully smoothed it with our finger and then removed the tape. The result is a professional looking caulk bead surrounding the window and fully sealing it from the elements. Give us a call or visit us at www.dlamrepair.com.